So, guten tag everyone, why have I just suddenly gone German, I never know, but hello and welcome back to... Welcome back? I fucking butchered this even worse than the first time. I know I don't need to stumble, I'm stumbling anyway. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be stealthily... Stealthily? I'm going to stealthily stumble through Resident Evil where I'll probably just... Speedman run my way through all future. Everyone knows Resident Evil. In case you don't, it's a survival horror game. With fixed camera angles, it's not third person or first person. Can we see the epic live action intro? It does indeed have that color and you will be seeing it indeed in black and white. And that will be exactly as I press this button. Resident Evil. In case we didn't know what we were playing. It's Resident Evil guys, it's Resident Evil. Or Biohazard from Japan. Now I did a thought, a little thought on this on Twitch, I don't, no not Twitch, Twitter, I was about to say stream, I was confused of should I play Chris or Joe and the folks say Joe and Chris only had one vote so everyone obviously wants to see a certain sin from there so I better not disappoint and make sure I go that route. So yeah we're all going to be watching Joe, that sounds weird, we're all going to be playing, I'm going to be playing as Joe and you go get to watch me so let's start uh, Carol is extremely happy to watch the live action. Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo Team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. Rebecca Chambers. Albert Wesker. Resident Evil. They have escaped into the mansion. 
where they thought he was safe. Yet, the doctor for some reason are above the Turks there. What is this? Wow, what a mansion! Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it! Don't open that door! But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay, let me handle this. Handle what exactly? What, lock the door or something? Stay alert! But yeah, I did actually mute my microphone during the live action. I mean, you can't expect me to keep quiet during it. <laughs> but there's always something about when they introduce the actual characters. Oh. A dining hall. Dining room. Oh, boom. I mean, I call myself an expert and I've got that flipping wrong. I feel so ashamed of myself. Self? Shit, self. I don't think I'm balefully stumbling through is how I'm talking. There's, there's nothing new there. Anyway, yeah, when they introduce the characters, it always it feels like it's more combat for some reason to me. At the very end of that live action. <laughs> shelf. <laughs> Why did I say shelf? <laughs> Carl was very ashamed of me. That's <laughs> doing my books. Dinner utensils. <laughs> so I'm ashamed of my shelf. We say she really got your words in order today. I have indeed. Just do check. OBS is no saying 0 0.6 frames dropped. How bizarre. A picture of beautiful scenery. Huh, if only I could see it. Despite that closer view, I do don't actually know what's in that picture. Is that even a scenery? Could be a foresty looking area. Kyle's not judging me using my words thing because he's better as well as he spells not. Not judging. There's nothing inside. Oh, nothing inside the falls. Thanks, Jeff, for the confirmation. It's dark outside and I can't see very far. I just imagine the mansion is just surrounded by all those dogs. So knife only went. <laughs> Never happening. We say it looks like you flex the sleeves of a shirt off. <laughs> Very possibility. But yeah, because I'm playing the offense mode. Chris and Jill get new costumes! Yay! Don't know why. What? What is this? What is it? What is it? Blood. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Yep. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Now, by examining it, exactly how are you going to examine it? Oh, I'm stepping on it. Oh, better step away from that. It looks like he's shaking his head at it. Like, damn, someone spilled all this, made this mess on this beautiful floor. Oh, I'm stepping on it. Oh, my Lord, my feet go through it. How deep is that blood? There he is, investigating. Hmm. One day, Barry, you'll be an amazing detective. Cannot wait to see that day. Oh, by the way, Barry, Barry's voice actor here. Stu does voices for games. Is this a, is there a random, uh, random? What the? Let me just read properly of what I put in the chat. Is there a Resident Evil 1 randomizer? Need to check this. That would be quite interesting. There's a hollow space beneath the shield. Okay, so the wooden emblem's not there. What is that new? That was only in the original, wasn't it? Where it was only there. Because in the director's cut, when you pick the offense mode, it changes all the stuff around. 
Are these for the Wii Master? Oh gosh darn. Or is it in the DS version that does this? Because DS has its own mode where it switches all the items around. So that's three different times you can play Resident Evil 1 with items not being in the same place. That's quite a big replayability. There you go, I can say it. On top of, you got Jill and Chris. So that's six times you can play the game. Ah, interesting. Yeah, anyway, let's go for the door. It's been way too long. Infinite times now, though, if you include, include, encounter, in encounter, include. There we go. Wow, what a day. Include the we make with the window randomizer. That includes even more. Hello, what's around the corner? Oh, hello. Oh, are you having a swing good there, sir? Oh, you made a bit of mess. What's all of your face, sir? It's a dead body! Uh oh. Okay. Oh, that was, my, that was my chance to show them off my dodging skills and I missed it. Oh well. Let's -a go through the door. Barry? Yes. Wait, what was he investigating then? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Perfect observation by you two. You can't examine it? Oh, can't examine the body. That intense music indeed. Oh, Barry's deep in thought there. What were you investigating? You're looking at the wall. No, he's tapping his foot as well. Well then, well, now that I've dirted my boots and we found out Jew's actually a coward, sees something moving towards her. She doesn't actually do police stuff. She just runs away. Wasn't anything to do with Bally controlling her. Not at all. Not one little bit. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Okie dokie. Now, you can actually go up the stairs and then come down and do it that way. But usually the best way is to just do it this way. Find anything, Jill? Nope. Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Why not does he have the lockpick? Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. I question some of the things they do in this game. Why are they splitting up? Why, why is this a good idea? Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. I suppose that's a good idea. This time I'll be there. This time? Is he just trying to wear the that he won't disappear like Whisker and Chris? Or did something happen in a previous mission? Oh by the way, can we do that in this in this version? It's <laughs> too dangerous to go outside. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> right. We say but Barry cries out. We're scared and all here is DC Douglas's Chris. Chris! To be fair, every time I hear Whisker in this, 
I keep getting shot that it's not DC Douglas and it just seems weird. And he also says, what the actual fuck? That was indeed a scene that no doubt many people have missed in life playing through this game. You can open the front door and have a dog go peek a -boo! Oh, it's locked. Carbon of armor. Great. Now, one thing I know is there's two handgun magazines through the dining hall. Room. 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 Sorry. Back where the zombie was munching on his favourite meal time. Meal time? On his favourite meal. I just had time for no reason. But I don't want to go there just yet, because I'm not sure if that will set off one of the other paths in this game. Since this game you have multiple paths. Like, all the scenes are sort of optional. It's like looking at a free hammered joker. It just doesn't look right. Exactly, Kyra. Okay, I don't think that's lined up properly yet. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfectional. It's a map of the first floor. Will you take it? Why, thank you very much. Okay, do the other buttons do anything? No, no, of course not. Alright, so we have a knife on us, which first opportunity I'll probably get rid of. We have the Beretta and a first aid kit, which I will probably use at some point, so I won't get the best rating in the game. I'm not going to get the best rating in the game anyway. So yeah, there's the first floor. Looks exactly like I remembered it, like I've only just went through this yesterday. No, I didn't actually do that, but I just remembered the game that well. Watch me fail horribly now. All the pressure's on. So yeah, on the left is where we were, in the dining room. Ah, uh, you link... Kara's linked the... the... I'm still again. Link to randomizer in the Discord for later. I may try that at some point. Hello, hello. Oh, fuck for now. I thought I could get around you then. Wait a second. I don't remember two bodies in here. I feel like I'm lied to. I have definitely been lied to. At least I'm still fine. That, that is great. No, I definitely don't remember this body being in here. Wow. I'm going to be in all sorts of surprises today, aren't I? Alright, go. Oh, what the frick? I must, I must do fine. I'm in caution. What? Wait, orange caution? Oh my lord. Zombies don't miss a bell in this game. Wait, all this was for the ink ribbon. Gosh darn it all. So yeah, to answer your questions about knife ones only, you can sod that off the window. Oh, so for future reference, I'm keeping that blocked. Fucking useless knife. You have news to lockpick. Yay! And now the worst room to ever want to be in. Okay, it's not this one, is it? Creepy stuff! Do I dare ask what's inside it, Jim? Alright, how far forward can I go? Oh, I thought this was one. Is it not one? I know there's two things you can push in here. Oh, it's that one there. There's this obvious looking one. What the frippin' hell is in here? Skeleton. Nothing? Nothing? Oh, fuck in there. Whew. Well, that's that sorted. That is definitely a deaf one if I ever saw one. Oh, hello, Joe. You're looking very blocky today. It's lot to carving of armor. And yes, offense mode. I don't know if offense mode actually mean, though, that zombies and stuff actually did more damage. I suppose it would make sense.
I mean, you can abuse snow strats to remove a couple early zombies, but knowing you just pro dodge them and not get hit two for two so far. I'm assuming we're talking about the dogs there, right? You're talking about my powerfully skilling skill for against the dogs. Do I have the gun equipped? I think I equipped the gun, didn't I? Yeah, I do have the gun equipped. Okay, it's not the rim I thought of then. Okay, good. What the frick? It is the rim I thought of. Get, get the hell down. Oh, so you're, oh my God, he's actually dead. That, that's a surprise. Somebody died in five shots. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely the dogs, wasn't it? And now let's take the magazine that for some reason is all is called a clip. For the record, it's not a clip. Also, we can check it. Clip for a Beretta. Very nice looking gun. I'm going to try my best not to use the first aid spray. It's news with a type wire. Wow, thank you, Cheer, for what to use an ink ribbon on. I would never have guessed. Let's just check out the amazing looking gun. A Beretta M92 FS Automatic Custom Edition. Oh, and she's going to say the same thing, okay. It's a very nice looking gun now. And now this shuddy ass piece of, of equipment. This doesn't seem to be enough for this mission. <laughs> Oh, thanks, Joe. Thanks for agreeing with me. <laughs> I can hear any wound with this. Any wound, you say? Huh. I guess that's why it's called a medical spray. Oh, hey, look. You can see the character through the mirror. That's amazing. See, games? It's possible. What was a zombie doing in the toilet anyway? What do you think news for? Oh well. Okay, well, so I've got some ammo for my gun. Let's actually reload that, shall we? Also, regarding save states, I'm not going to like do any save state abusing or anything. Assuming I know actually the actual buttons, which ones do it. They want to be for like emergency kind of stuff, so I don't lose like 50 minutes of progress or something stupid like that. But I'm not going to just like save, load, save, load. No, 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 of course not. 